Hi everyone, my name is Tung Duan. Today, I would like to give a lecture, which is about the introduction to Mobile Edge Cloud. The main purpose of this lecture is to help students to get to know about Mobile Edge Cloud. So, my agenda today includes two main sessions. First, I will give the introduction to Mobile Edge Cloud and explain why Mobile Edge Cloud was introduced. In the second session, I will present Mobile Edge Cloud in more details. In particular, I will show the basic concepts, the characteristics, and the key technologies that enable Mobile Edge Cloud. Afterward, I will show the general architectures and the importance of management and orchestration in Mobile Edge Cloud. Finally, I will discuss about the current use cases that industry is interested in. For the introduction, so the lecture is about Mobile Edge Cloud. Let's first take a look at the cloud. The question is, what the cloud stands for? So before talking about the cloud or cloud computing, I would like to give an example. Let's assume that you want to start a business. So you might need to take care of the following things. First, you need to have a budget for hardware devices that include the personal computers, servers, and network devices. Second, which software applications are used for the business? Third, it is about the power consumption. How much energy hardware devices need to run this, the application? And you also need to have IT staff to maintain the services. So taking care of these requirements are very challenging, especially when the company becomes bigger. That's the reason why cloud computing was introduced. So cloud computing is the delivery of IT resources such as computation and storage over the internet. So in cloud computing, the applications are not locally run on the devices. Instead, they are deployed on the cloud infrastructures. So when the devices want to connect to the application, they will send the request over the internet. That is about the cloud computing. So, there is also the question whether you are using the cloud computing yet. And actually, the cloud applications are very popular in our life. For example, YouTube, this is a video sharing platform. So we can upload or you can watch the video from YouTube. Another example is about the storage services such as Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive. There are also uh, several applications such as social networking services like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So we can upload the photos there. Actually, there are more and more applications nowadays which are based on cloud computing. So, we already know about the cloud computing. What about the mobile cloud? 
Mobile Cloud or Mobile Cloud Computing is the integration of cloud computing into mobile environment so that it can empower mobile devices with computing and storage resources. Let's take a look at this figure. On the left hand side, we have end devices such as drone, smartphone, uh, or IoT devices. Now a day, the applications become intensive with the computing and the storage resources. So, in order to support the end devices, the application can be deployed on the mobile cloud computing. So, the end, end devices can send requests to the base station via wireless channel. And from the base station, the request will send to the mobile cloud computing. In the mobile cloud computing, it will handle the request and give the feedback to the devices. But, the problem is the distance between the base stations and the cloud computing is very far. For instance, the base stations can be located in Germany, but mobile cloud computing can be located in the United States. Because of the long distance, so it can cause critical problems. First, it's about the latency. So, mobile cloud computing is not suitable for the low latency applications such as video streaming and gaming. And the second uh, issue is about the security. So, when mobile cloud computing handle a lot of requests, so it's potential for the attack such as DDoS. So another concern is about the low coverage and the poor data transmissions because the cloud resources need to be shared with a large number of users and end devices. So, the question is how we can solve the issues posed by mobile cloud computing. That's a simple way that we can give more and more power for end devices. But it's not good from user perspective because user may need to pay a lot of money for their end devices. So what we can do with the cloud computing? Mobile Edge Cloud was introduced to solve this issue. With Mobile Edge Cloud, it can provide the computing and storage resources in the proximity of the mobile devices. Let's go back to the previous example. So we have the end devices here and we know the problem of mobile cloud computing because of the long distance. So where do you think we can, um, we can move the cloud computing? So the answer is in the base stations. So when the cloud computing is located at the base station, so it can reduce uh, the latency significantly. So you can see here, um, we can also have a small um, uh, data center located at the base station. 
and it can provide the application for the end devices. In order to highlight the impact of uh, mobile cloud computing and the mobile edge computing, I would like to show an example. So this video uh, shows the impact of um, mobile edge cloud for the autonomous driving. So you can see here, uh, autonomous driving car uh, is very critical with the latency because uh, in this case uh, the steering angle of the car um, is located in the mobile edge cloud so every time uh, in order to get the steering angle so there's a control loop between the car and the um, um, mobile edge cloud so you can see with the mobile edge cloud the car can keep in the center of the track it's very stable but with the mobile cloud computing so because of the long distance between the cloud and the car so the latency is very critical sometimes the car go to the left sometimes the car go to the right and it's really dangerous yeah you can see here the impact is very clear So for the mobile cloud computing, the control loop latency is more than 20 seconds, 20 milliseconds. And finally, it, um, it got an uh, accident. So this is the demonstration about the mobile edge cloud for the autonomous driving case. Okay. So, considering the benefit of a mobile edge cloud, um, there's a rapid increase on the demand of um, mobile edge cloud. You can see here, in 2020, so the capital expenditure is about 13 billion, but in 2028, the expenditure is go up to um, um, more than 100 billion so this figure showed the interest of the mobile edge cloud now I want to show the concept of the mobile edge cloud so in the previous lectures you already know about the standard organization and SC is one of them. So SC also uh, also propose the concept of mobile edge cloud or MEC here. So mobile edge cloud provide an IT service environment and cloud computing resources at the edge of the mobile network. So it can be located in radio asset network or in close up to the mobile devices according to the SC standard MEC can be characterized by five groups so the first group is on premise the MEC is isolated from the rest of the network and it uses the local resources to serve the users and the second group is about the proximity. The MEC can be deployed at the nearest location, such as Wi-Fi or other um, wireless access points. The third group is about the lower latencies. So the MEC is deployed at the nearest location to the user devices, and it isolates the network data movement from the core network. So, with the purpose of low, lower latency, MEC can be located in the base station, as I show 
in the previous slide. The next group is based on the location awareness. So the energy devices can utilize the low level signaling for the information sharing. For example, the MEC server can deploy in the stadium or in the other um, uh, place like in the shopping center or the office building. And the last group is based on the network contact information. It leverages the application providing network information and service of real-time network data. For example, when we deploy the data analysis in the cloud. So based on the network context information, we can determine where to deploy the MEC server. That is the um, our concept of mobile edge cloud. So now I will show the similar concepts. There are several uh, uh, concepts like mobile edge cloud. For example, Cloudlet. So Cloudlet is a small box data center, which is deployed at wireless hub away from mobile devices. It can be located in hospital, shopping center, and office building. And another concept is about fog computing. Fog computing is deployed in the local area network such as IoT Gateway or in the fog node. The fog node can be the router or switches. So fog computing is targeted to the ubiquitous connected devices as we talk about the IoT devices here. So there are two popular uh, concepts like a mobile edge cloud. In general, mobile edge cloud, fog computing, and cloudnet are the same meaning, has the same meaning, but they are different from each other based on the type of implementation. For example, with the location, so mobile edge cloud is deployed in the base station or radio asset network but the cloudlet can be deployed in the outdoor um, such as shopping center and about the devices the MEC can um, the MC servers can run on the uh, the base station or central office but the fog computing can be deployed um, on the routers, switches, or even gateways. So that is some uh, slight difference between the MEC, the fog computing, and Cloudlet.